salute, salute, salute. Bow, what's happening, man? It's nocturnal. Salutations. So, real quick video, then I'm gonna get out the way. And this is a piggyback video from uh, another YouTuber, 903 Boxing, with the host, Charles J. First and foremost, before you pause this video, go to 903 Boxing with the host, Charles J, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I listened to one of his videos uh, the other night. And he was talking about the relationship of Terrence Bud Crawford and his father, Terrence Crawford, how they have reunited and mended their relationship, mended their father-son relationship. And it's a beautiful thing to behold. Because we all know that back in his childhood, Terrence Bud Crawford had a, a, a detour in their relationship for whatever reasons. But he was primarily raised by his mother and his grandmother and his sisters, something like that. But I remember hearing a story, watching a documentary on Bud years ago. He was born into the world with his fist all balled up and his dad was a boxer and his, and his granddad was a boxer and they related to Joe Lewis and his dad was like, we got us a million dollar baby. And his mom was like, we ain't got shit. But we know the trials and tribulations of Bud's childhood. And we've seen him become successful. World conqueror, world class, world champion boxer. You know what I'm saying? so many accolades i don't even have time to mention them in this video but the focus of 903 boxing with the host charles j was to say how important it is for us to forgive if, if, if we have any issues with our parents and especially our fathers to forgive and to rebuild and to you know what i'm saying uh it's it's important to develop that to strengthen that bond between the fathers and it was a beautiful thing to see over the years Terrence Crawford and Terrence Bud Crawford be reunited and you know what I'm saying the journey they come back together and they on the same path now they on that journey together and you see that bond you've seen Terrence Bud Crawford say how it inspires him to be even more motivated to train because he feels like a kid because his father is there to, to you know what I'm saying, give him that extra motivation because every, when you a kid and, you, and your dad is watching, you go, you go harder. It's something when your dad is not there, there's gonna always be a void. And most of us, most of us unfortunately know that void but you know god knows how to provide some of us have stepdads uncles big brothers and some of us rebuild our relationships with our dads i'm one of the type of i'm the person that can relate that when me and my father we fractured off when i was a young five-year-old kid and then around the time I was 15 our paths reunited and then we developed a relationship and my dad will always be my hero period point blank but I always said I was going to be a better dad than I was my, my, I always said to my pops or to myself that I was going to be a better man and a better father for my son when the day came and that's not easy to do. It was not easy to fill those shoes. It was not easy to fill my, my OG shoes, regardless of the fact that he wasn't always a part of my life. He was always a part of my life. And I always knew I had some big shoes to fill. 
So my thing is this, I can relate to both, but, but I have to also take my hat off. And like I said, I'm piggybacking off of 903 Boxing. He focused on Bud, and he focused on his father, Terrence Crawford. But I got to really, really focus. And he focuses on Devin Haney and Bill Haney relationship as well. He gives them a lot of salutes and a lot of props, as we all should. But I got to focus right now in this video on Errol Spence's father. Because he was, he was always there from the day one putting in the work from the from the ground, from the glimmer in the eye to the ground, to the first level, second level, third level sacrificed. And I when when when, when Errol Spence said when this thing started and my dad was working on a graveyard shift and getting off work and sleeping for three hours and then taking me to, you know what I'm saying, training and taking me here and taking me there and preparing me from day one look hey I, I will always give credit to fathers no matter what position they play if it don't work out and you got to be a father from a distance or a weekend warrior or a summertime dad or you wait till the kid get a little older then you can come back and mend things and patch things up i will always salute that i respect any i respect fathers on every single level except for the ones that don't step at up at all and they roll the stones and they get the fuck out and they never come back and do anything to put into their kid fuck them motherfuckers they can all die as far as i give a fuck but for the ones that stick around from the day one and put in that real real work that grind day to day work when you gotta be when you gotta work and provide and you make it to all the practices and you make it to all the basketball games and you take them and you take them on a travel team and you on the weekend you want to just sleep or rest or you got to do fuck and you there and you buying them shoes and helping them with their homework and teaching them how to fucking have hygiene and teaching them how to be a man and have integrity and you going through that journey and you going through that journey with them every single day from the time they're snot nose up to the time they're grown man it's different because i did it it's different you got to respect that you got to put it on a higher level and a higher platform it ain't no excuses not to be no dad so i got to give a real proper salute to errol spence's father for putting in that work and not doing it in a way that's like vicariously living through his son or being in the forefront he played the, he always kind of was in the background Errol Smith said he like he like the shadow the shadow knows he in the back he just cool calm collected and watching everything you know what I'm saying and that's the role I played for my son to the best of my ability I tried to stay out of his way and stay in the back and that ain't easy to do because don't nobody don't know kid well no, to me in my opinion the sons should look up to their dads. The sons shouldn't be where they feel like they dads is always like over them where they can't like I feel like you're supposed to lift your son up to the point where one at one I'm not my position is not to always be making my son feel like my son. I'm supposed to be making my son feel like he his own man. So I I'm never trying to just be too intimidating and too trying to set the bar i'm sitting the bar way up here so you got no i'm like dude i'm proud of you already i'm so proud of my son anyways i respect errol spence father for doing what he did from the grind and i salute terrence bud crawford's father for coming back into the picture and playing his part and being a father and a grandfather especially probably getting that second chance to do things a different way and I salute Terrence Bud Crawford and 903 Boxing. You get a proper salute as always. And all my subscribers who are going to hear this video, go check out that man channel, his platform, and subscribe to his content. And tell him Nocturnal sent you. Signing out.